Kelowna, we need your help. COVID-19 has hit us hard all around the world. And right here in the Okanagan. We need to take a stand and fight this virus together to keep our loved ones safe. Please think of the elderly and compromised children. So we're asking you to take the advice of experts. And frequently wash your hands for 20 seconds. Keep your physical distancing six feet apart. And above all, please stay home. Stay at home if you can. Just stay home. Be with your loved ones. Be with your family. Let's get through this together and do the right thing. Let's help get everyone through this. Let's stay strong. We appreciate it. Thank you, Kelowna. And hopefully we can be outside enjoying the sunny Okanagan in no time. I love you, Kelowna. Stay strong. Hello all of you guys who are quarantined at home. We are here to show you what we've been up to. Well, my daughter, Georgia, and, Georgia, and I um, do a workout every day together. It's a 12-minute workout with no equipment and just a tiny space like this. Um, it's through hitit.ca. And we'll show you a little preview. Um, we'll do four minutes here. So first exercise, we're going to do a pop squat. Legs together, knees bent. You put your legs out, you pop up, and then you come back together. Okay, our second exercise. We're going to get some cardio in. Go on the front pads of your feet and go nice and fast, back and forth. Third exercise, we're going to work our arms. We're going to do four push-ups, and then we're going to do four commandos. That's going all the way down the ground and up, and alternate back and forth. And the fourth and final exercise, working our core going on your forearms and staying here just like so in a low plank okay let's go you guys only four minutes today but again normally we do a 12 minute so this is what we have been doing every day in our quarantine and let's go makes us feel good for the day right georgia What's your favorite part? Um, this. <laughs> With having the kids at home, having to homeschool, um, yeah, and just not being able to get out many places, this is a lifesaver. Woo! And it burns, right, Georgia? And even when my kids are with me, as long as they're moving for the 12 minutes, that is all that matters. <laughs> Oh, come on, George, we got 12 seconds. Good job. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Woo, legs. Okay, now we got to do more legs, George. No. We're going to do the football move. Woo. And go. Oh, feet back and forth, nice and fast. Again, not being able to go to the gym or even really parks. This is the next best thing. Oh, tiny space. Just get it done. Come on, Georgia. 22 seconds left. Come on. Keep moving. So good. I find to do this in the middle of Homeschooling to break up the day a bit. Seven, Clear the kids' hair. Seven, four, three, two, one. Okay, now four push ups followed by the four commandos. And if you can't do a full push up, just make sure you go on your knees. Do a 
modified push up, still really working those arms. Chest was nice and low to the floor. Doing those four times, and then doing the commando that working the back of your arms. <sighs> Holy! <laughs> Sweating already. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Push your arms, Georgia. <laughs> Good job. 15 seconds. <laughs> Are you dying? <laughs> so sometimes, as I said, the kids won't do exactly what I do, but it's long because they're moving. <sighs> Okay, now, low plank, working our core, and then we worked every part of our body. Legs, arms, cardio, core, and let's go, G. Okay, making sure your butt is nice and low. Good job. Your core is nice and tight. Oh. Great job, you guys. I hope some of you guys try this out, because... Dang, it just helps with the sanity throughout the day. Come on, Georgia. Oh, 22 seconds left. You got it, Georgia. 22? Well, now there's 15. Come on, keep it going. Get back up 10 seconds, Georgia. Oh, yes, it's hard. Oh, so that is a sneak peek at what we do whew, when we're in quarantine. So go to the website, hitit.ca, offering a free 30 days. Thank you for coming into my home. Today we're making tacos. I'm gonna start with cooking the meat. I'm gonna start grating the cheese. Eddie, what will I do? I'm going to start cutting the cucumbers. I'm gonna start chopping the vegetables. Cilantro, nice and fine. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting up the cilantro. Nope. Um, okay. I'm going to be cutting up this green stuff. <laughs>
What's this? It's a taco. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Is this everything in it? Okay, we'll give it a go. <laughs> That's the best taco I've ever had. Thank you. I'll have to apologize for my haircut. I'm starting to look like the Kmart version of Jim Halpert. Good news, Okanagan. Welcome to Good News Okanagan, brought to you by pizza. Don't you just love pizza? John Krasinski knows we exist right here in Okanagan, Canada. That's right, in Okanagan, Canada, at Radio Kepler, anointed himself as my SGN co-anchor without consulting a lawyer. And he did a frustratingly good job. So that's good news. Who it is? Friends with Dorothy delivery. Ooh, Special delivery. You look great. I'll leave that there for you. Look at that contactless delivery. Contactless. Wow. Thank you, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Leave that up yet. the Prime Minister repeating himself and avoiding all important questions. Okay, just let me get changed. Oh, so much better. Hey, hon, can we have a drink yet? We sure can.
This show can't be real. Han, what? I thought we agreed we're only using two slices a day. How much are you using? I'm gonna do eggs for lunch. It is not weird. I think I'm gonna shower after lunch. That hero Bastards is a real I know it's only been two days, but I'm pretty sure it's starting to grow. <laughs> I think I got it, hon. Oh. Six. Damn. All right, I think I'm gonna shower. Okay, hon, one more drink before bed? All right. I think it's bedtime. Good night, hon. Mm, love you too. Mm. Oh gosh, did you shower today?
this is a good news flash. Shirley Grabinski, from home, is announcing a special launching of her book, Queen of the Potato Patch. Shirley, a past president of Granny's A Go-Go at 81, has published her first book, Queen of the Potato Patch. You have probably guessed why she is doing a virtual launch rather than inviting you to a party for the unveiling of the book. Granny's a go-go will save the party until we are free to gather once again. More than realizing her dream, Shirley is donating the total proceeds from the sale of a hundred copies of her book to Granny's a go-go, the Vernon South Africa Connection. We asked Shirley to tell us more about Queen of the Potato Patch. Hi, I'm Shirley Grabinski, and I'm delighted to introduce you to my book, Queen of the Potato Patch. The book, illustrated by Robin Jacobson and edited by Ann Clark, is a fundraiser for Granny's A Go Go, a Vernon group that supports grandmothers in Sabi, South Africa, who are raising AIDS orphaned grandchildren. The book's structure is based on the song Spirit of Life. There are three phrases in the song that speak to me. Part one is Roots Hold Me Close. The meadowlark is a treasured prairie symbol. When the meadowlark arrived, it meant the long winter was over. My roots are in Saskatchewan, so the stories in this section are about bath time, pumpkins, First days of school, stories that stir memories of times long forgotten. Part two, Wings Set Me Free. This part contains stories that are creative and fun. Like the robin in the bird bath, I experienced freedom and joy while writing them. Some are stories of real incidents told in a creative way. Others are pure fiction. Part three is Spirit of Life Come to Me, and it contains stories of loss and recovery from loss. To me, the owl is a symbol of wisdom, the wisdom we gain as we work our way through times of loss. Some of the stories in this section are lighthearted, others are not. The journaling hand illustration represents my way of recording both happy and sad events. I write. Like the child on the cover, I'm reaching for potatoes. Only these are potatoes on a book cover. Maybe there's one for you? Keep watching and we'll tell you how to get your own copy. There are several ways you can get your own copy of Shirley's book. You can email your request to grannysagogo at gmail.com or visit our website at grannysagogo.com to order and pay online. You can also get one from any member of the steering committee who are also listed on our website. We will make arrangements to get the book to you safely in this time of social distancing. Now sit back and listen while Shirley reads a portion of her book for you. Queen of the Potato Batch Called from play to the duty of the day, she is petulant as she makes her way to the potato patch beyond the barn. She pushes the old enamel roaster under the three-string barbed wire fence, pulls the lowest wire down, and keeping her body low, it hurts when you get your hair cut, carefully places one leg, then the other, through the fence. It's a perfect Saskatchewan summer day blue sky embracing all points of the earth, warm sun, metal art perched on a fence post, joy exploding from black V on yellow breast. I hope you like my stories. Here's what others are saying about Shirley's book. <laughs> 